What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master One and welcome to my free to play guide for Hatron and Ectoneers bound to a battle for Abyssal, Infernal and Lunar difficulty with free to play units and absolutely no skill inheritance. So for the Infernal difficulty, I'm going to be using these units and you need absolutely no skill inheritance and no secret seals on them, just the base kit and Ratatoskr is going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting. So you pretty much need to have the same order as me before entering the map because that can affect the AI movement. So let us begin with the Infernal difficulty and this map is definitely pretty challenging. Even on Infernal, on Abyssal, of course the inflated enemies are going to be really strong. So here we are on the Grizzle tree and there's a pretty anti-meta uh, mana key tier with the Harsh Command with High Dragon Wall and Canto Control. So you want to start by having a Ratatoskr in front of your Peony and then yeah. dancing up Ratatoskr yeah. and then we can go ahead and attack this Green Mana Kate. Uh, we don't really kill her because she does get the damage reduction and then we can retreat one space back. And her control is yeah. really annoying so that's why we need to get rid of it. And then you can have Regan in front of Peony and Sather can actually be on this lane and in the action of the Archer uh, that does have the Spendthrift Bow. So Hatron is going to be giving Divine Nectar status and we do kill this counter control unit which is really good. And then we've got this attack defense Excel Cavalier who hits pretty hard because of Ectoneer's uh, bonus doubler. So now we have got these two reinforcements. You want to go ahead and take out this Red Cavalier with Ratatoskr, get that overkill and then retreat with Kanto. Then you want to go over here with Pini and then dance up your Ratatoskr and have her move in so that she can tank this Lance Fighter who doesn't really have much of a offensive build and then you can move Sather one space down Over and here? move Regan above Sather. So here um, they're gonna be getting the extraction but it is gonna be once per turn uh, for a single unit. So this bat is gonna be going over there and here comes this archer. So we can go ahead and take out yeah. this archer with Ratatoskr so you want to do that and then retreat over here and then you want to go over here yeah. with your Regan and then Did have you your Sather in the action of the red yeah. bat and then you want to dance up your Regan and make sure that she is uh, below Peony so both lanes are pretty much covered by Ectonir and uh, Hathren so you're either going to be getting panicked by the beast threaten or you're going to be getting debuffed by her Nectar Horn. So now we have got this Axe Fighter here yeah. and we can use the Panic Smoke really well on uh, Ectonir because he's not going to be able to cleanse himself with the middle of the turn uh, debuffs. So that helps and now he's completely panicked as you can see. So he's you want to go down. over here and attack with Sather and then dance up your Sather with your Peony and attack from the low so that you can be in the safe position. So Ectonir is going to be going down, which is a big thread gone. And now you can have Ratatoskr above Peony. So this way she's not going to be getting affected by the Deep Wound status and she can still get that healing. So as long as you're outside of the range of Hatherin, you should be fine and you're still going to be getting the healing. So Ratatoskr is going to be taking care of those two units. And now we have got uh, this bat and two range units. You want to go over here with your Sather and just take out this bat. So you can go ahead and attack. And we're going to be ending the action of this uh, Blue Thief, which is pretty helpful. And this Red Mage Flyer is going to be attacking Sather, but Sather is really bulky. And there's no answer to her follow-up negation uh, from this Red Mage. And now we've got Hatherin coming over here. So now we can just have... Peony over here actually and have Regan like this yes. and retreat with Rad Tosker and Sather. So she's gonna be going on the left side which is much much better and now we can go ahead and take out yeah. this blue thief by attacking uh, with Regan and then we taking care that. with Sather and now we can have Rad Tosker in the range of Hatherin and keep in mind that you need to be below 30 HP so that you're outside of the range of her weapon, which does work um, depending on foe's HP. If it's 
75 or above. Ready. So that's why uh, being on low HP with Ratatoskr actually works out in our favor. And we're going to be able to tank Aetherin pretty easily with uh, Ratatoskr and just taking her out in the enemy phase. So Ratatoskr just absolutely smashing Aetherin despite the weapon strangle disadvantage. And that is going to be the infernal solution. Now let's move on to the big bad abyssal difficulty. And for the team, we've got the same team, but you need to have um, attack defense clash sacred seal. This is needed because we need some extra defense and extra attack to kill Hatrin. She is just ridiculously bulky with her flat damage reduction. So this is a sacred seal that you'll need. You don't really need any kind of sacred seal on Peony and you don't need it on Regan, but make sure to learn their remake skills in Save the Shell Plus and Panic Smoke 4 and also remake skill of Peony with Gentle Dream Plus and Crossbow Resistance. And then we've got Zayther with no Sacred Seal. So let us begin with Abyssal Difficulty. Is in sight. And this map has got Obstruct on Ictanir and has even more bulk on Hatherin. So Hatherin can be a really, really annoying unit to finally get the kill on because even if her allies die, uh, it doesn't matter because her weapon doesn't really care about the allies. So you want to start the same way I'll as Infernal, have your Rat Toster in front of Kini and Nancer up. Yes. And then you can go ahead and attack this green Manicate for a bit of damage. And then you can retreat. So with the attack defense clash, we're able to take a bit less damage from this uh, Lance Cavalier with the Excel skill. Over here? And you want to have your Regan above Pini. And again, you want to end the action the of this Spendthrift Bow Bow Fighter. So even on the Abyssal difficulty, Regan is going to be able to wipe the floor clean against these uh, melee units. And she's going to be taking out even that Excel Cavalier. And now we have got this Red Mage Cavalier with pretty oh, high HP. Does have a Blade Tome, so can hit pretty hard. So we definitely need to take uh, them out first and then dance mm, up with Kini and way. have Ratatoskr tank can. this Lance Fighter. And you want to put your Sather one space down and then have Regan like this, uh, anticipating the Wolf Fighter that is going to be coming up. So we easily take care of this Lance Fighter. And now we're going to be having that, um, we're going to be having that Wolf Fighter come here. So now you want to go ahead and attack this Wolf Fighter and barely miss out on the kill, uh, which is a bit annoying, but not much we can do when the guy has got Spendthrift Bow and Lull Attack Defense. Now you want to finish off this bow fighter Without with your Sather. Uh, the Breath of Life healing from uh, the Nectar status is pretty annoying. So now we have taken out that bow fighter and you want to move here? one space down with your Regan and then dance Ready. up Sather and have her the end the action of that sense. bat all the way across the map. And we're anticipating that Axe Fighter showing up. That Axe Fighter is a blessing in disguise because we get to get the panic on Ictanir without attacking him. So you want to attack the Sling Hammer Axe Fighter with your Regan and simply spread the panic on Ictanir and then go ahead and attack with your Sather. She, even with the Iceberg, she doesn't really kill him because he does have the Excel skill, but now he's going to be going down and that is one threat gone and now you can retreat. Uh, to the leftmost tile with Ratatoskr and tank this Lance Cavalier and this Red Manakeet. So we just need to make sure that we're uh, not at uh, 30 or above HP because that is the magic number against which Aetherin's weapon doesn't really work against. So you don't want to heal up too much HP and that's why you gotta send in Sather. Uh, to take care of this red bat and end the action of this blue thief. So Sather is going to be getting attacked, but that's completely oh, fine. That? And we can go over here with Ratatoskr yeah. and go with Regan below Pini. So the action is going to be getting ended, but on the Abyssal difficulty, this red mage flyer is really, really bulky uh, with all of the rain skills and everything. So now that we have got the deep wound status, I'll we're not going to be healing up any HP. So you want to go ahead and take out this red flyer actually and then you want to retreat um, with the Rider Tosker and then dance her up and pretty much have her over here and then move Sather behind you can also go over there with Regan. So we're going to be having this thief come down which is really helpful 
And even if this thief doesn't come down, you can still kind of dance around in the circle so that you get the opening to attack this thief. And now we have again got the deep wound status, so we're not going to be healing up any HP, even if we kill uh, this blue thief. So you're going to be below 30 HP, which is what you need. Again, uh, Patron's weapon does work when foe's HP is 75% or more. So you want to be below that threshold and you can just be in the range of Hatrin and then go over here. And Ratatoskr is going to be doing a lot of damage. If she's above that threshold, then uh, you're not really going to be able to do that much damage. And Hatrin is going to be surviving that one combat. But now uh, what you want to do is move here with your Regan yes. and then go over here and then dance up Ratatoskr so that you can get the max clash distance out of her skills. So that's why moving away is actually helpful. And now you just want to end your turn. So Aetherin is not going to be having majority of her weapon active and Ratatoskr is again going to be dealing with Aetherin on the enemy phase, even on the Abyssal difficulty. So that is the Abyssal map. Definitely really challenging for the free to play goddesses, but Ratatoskr just clutching it out. So if you have any kind of trouble following this guide, let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to help you. But as long as you keep the things in mind, which I told, like the HP threshold, for example, you should be fine. And Ratatoskr is going to be disposing Aetherin, which is really, really good. And now let's move on to the Lunatic difficulty. For the Lunatic difficulty, we're going to be having the same team, but there's going to be no need of any kind of Sacred Seal here. And you should have the same order as me. There's not going to be any kind of Red Bat here, so that's pretty nice. And we don't really need to end the action of this Archer, actually. So you want to go over here with Ratatoskr, just like before, and then dance her up. And she can take out this Dream Manicate on the uh, Lunacy difficulty, which is pretty nice. And you simply want to have your Sather like this, and then have Regan over here. So Ratatoskr is easily going to be disposing this Lance Cavalier, even with the bonus doubler. And now we can simply go ahead and take out this both fighter, actually. And then we can take out this Red Mage Cavalier and retreat all the way. And then we also take out this Lance Fighter. So that's helpful. And now you want to have your Ratatoskr move over here. So she's going to be getting affected by the panic and all of the debuffs of Hatrin, uh, which is a bit annoying, but that's completely fine. And we're going to be waiting for Ectonir to come towards us. And we're going to be retreating over here. And Sather can be like this. We can lose. just have Regan in the middle of everyone. So turn three is going to be happening. And here comes Ectonir. So now we can panic uh, Over Ectonir here. and just pretty much take him out after that. So you want to go over here and destroy Ectonir yeah. in two combats. Even on Lunatic, he takes like two combats to go down, which is just absurd. <laughs> So you want to have your um, Ratatoskr over here. There's no way to avoid the debuffs of uh, Hatrin, but we should be fine. So here, we're going to be getting attacked by the uh, dagger with the Occultist Strike, which is a bit annoying, but that's fine. And because Hatrin is going to be chasing after Peony, she's going to be going all the way down, which is completely fine and exactly what we want. Without so now you want to go ahead and take out this Blue Thief with your Sather with the Iceberg. And then you can simply dance up and go over here and take out this red flyer and then take care of this uh, red mana heat, actually. And then you can go with the Regan in the middle of Sather and Peony. Now we can pretty much just uh, retreat with Peony and all of our units. And Ratatoskr is going to be taking her on, but we need to be in the uh, range of Peony. So. You wanna go over here and then dance up Ratatoskr and then you wanna move your Sather and Regan behind. So Hatherin is gonna be going down here because she's gonna be eating a big Luna and she's gonna be getting taken down. That is gonna be my free to play guide. You can click the link on your screen right now to check out my breakdown of this double mythic banner and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube sub boxes are about as annoying as that green mana at the start. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.